Welcome to Testing AI. In this channel, I break down different AI tools and keep you up to date with the AI world. If you like this video, make sure to hit subscribe. In today's video, I'm going to write some unit tests for a pre-existing piece of code. The language I'm going to use today is Java. And uh, the function I'm using is just to find the minimum element in an array. I'm going to request ChatGPT to provide me unit tests in four different frameworks, JUnit, TestNG, Mokito, JBehave, and Serenity. This is the fourth video in my prompt engineering series. If you haven't watched the previous ones, make sure to watch at least the first video where I explain the prompt structure I'm using here. Before I get started, I wanted to mention that I'm trying to reach 1000 subscribers. So if you get some value from this video, make sure to hit subscribe. Let's go over the prompt structure I'm using before I start. Uh, so I want ChatGPT to write unit tests for my Java code. I'm going to request my replies inside a unique code block and nothing else. I'm going to provide my code inside these quotes. And if I want any additional information, I'm going to request any explanations inside the curly braces. Uh, for the exclusions, I don't want any explanations and I don't want it to type any commands unless I instruct it to do so. The function I'm using here is pretty simple. I'm providing the function with an array and I'm iterating through the length of the array to find the minimum and return me the minimum element. So for example, if my array is like 8, 10, 3, 45, 2, and 90, it should respond to me with 2 as the answer. Okay, so let's see how it responds to this one. I just realized that I did not mention what framework to use for my unit tests and it just went for JUnit to start off, which is good. So if you're starting off with programming and you don't know how to write unit tests, uh, ChatGPT can help you construct a unit test, get all the required imports you need and provide an example of a test and the, and the tagging structure you need to do. So here it provides me an array of one to five and has the expected as one, which is the minimum in this array and asserts that the expected minimum, which is one, should match the actual, which is returned from the function. So this, uh, this looks correct. Now I'm gonna request another unit test in test ng. So it took the previous unit test and added on a new one. This time it's taking a different array from minus one, minus five, minus three. So it's a bunch of negatives, a zero and a two. And minus five is the minimum element from this array. And it's doing an assertion against that. The only change here is the import where it's using testng as the import instead of junit. Uh, the, rest of the rest of the code looks pretty much the same. So I'm gonna change that to Mokito. It should look different. This time it appended the first test, but not the second one. And it added on this function, which is using a Mokito structure. It's using the same array it used for testng and has the expected as minus five. The last two are new, I've never used them. So let's see how they look like. Uh, JBehave actually is not a unit testing framework. JBehave is used to write more acceptance and automated acceptance test. It does not write tests on the function level like JUnit or TestNG. Now I'm going to try using Serenity. So Serenity is a library which is more for automated tests versus unit tests. So it cannot complete the task because I requested a unit test using Serenity. So in conclusion, if you have a specific piece of code that you can provide to ChatGPT, it can respond to you with different unit tests. So overall, I think ChatGPT can be really useful to add a bunch of unit tests to your code if you don't want to do that. If you like this video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos that are coming up. Till the next one, thank you so much.